Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a Joanna Bashford Secret Garden and Inky Treasure Hunt and Coloring Book Flip Through and Review. The dimensions of the book are 10 by 10 inches. Here is the back. Here is the spine. And here is the thickness of the book. Inside the front cover, you will find there is a dust cover on it. And when you flip the cover back over, it's um, a really nice cardboard. Um, and I like this because you can, you can color on this and make this really, really pretty. As well as the dust jacket itself um, unfolds and has this really nice floral pattern on it um, that is pretty big. And the other side of it, the back, also has that print on it as well as the front. So you can color on the dust cover, you can color inside the dust cover, and you can color on the book itself, which I really think is pretty cool. And you can see that the front and back both, and the spine has some on here. So inside, you'll find the other side of the dust cover, or I'm sorry, of the cover of the book, also has the floral design as well as the back. So there's a lot to color just on the covers themselves. So you will find in here, the first page is kind of the announcement page of what the book is, who it's by. The book is glue bound. Informational page, nameplate. And then you have a key, and this key shows you the different things hidden inside the book and how many there are. Like this one says 16 snails, and they're going to look like this. Um, this one says one peacock, so it's going to look, it's a peacock feather, but it doesn't say feather. Um, it just says one peacock, so you'll have um, one of those. You'll have 16 ladybugs, six flying beetles, etc. And then you have a nice note from Joanna Bashford um, to anybody who's coloring her books. And then you have the beginning pages. And these pages are really nice. They're um, a thinner cardstock type of paper. So it's thick enough to use any medium that you would like to, except for alcohol markers, unless you don't care that you're running the other side of the page. If you don't care, then by all means use them. This is, um, I believe, the only one I've done inside this book. Um, and this was done with uh, Crayola and Prismacolor colored pencils. So I can't speak um, as to watercolor in this particular book, but I have uh, the other two of her books that are out at this moment. I know that there's a fourth one coming. Um but in the Enchanted Forest, I did use watercolor, and because the paper is the same in all of the books, um, I know that watercolor will work in this book as, as well, as long as you don't use a ton of water. And I recommended, um, I recommend not using a water brush for these types of books, just because you can't really control how much water you're putting on the page. And if you have a regular paintbrush and water available, you can kind of control how much water you're getting on the page. And water control is paramount when you're talking about using watercolor or any water-based medium in these type of books. So um, these two were done with Prismacolor only, and you can see um, it's a little bit more vibrant than these. Uh, most of this was done with um, Crayola colored pencils. And there's a little marker in here, a little um, fine liner marker um, on the door itself. But these two were Prismacolor, and you can kind of just tell the difference here between the color variants, um, the orange and the orange here. This is so much brighter. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. So the different mediums you can use in here are colored pencils, crayons, gel pens, ink pens, watercolor, water-based markers. You can use uh, gelatos, the slick sticks that are out right now. You can use the Neocolor 2s from Karen Dosh. You can use uh, chalk pastels, oil pastels. 
there's a lot of mediums you can use inside these books, including acrylic paint if you like acrylic paint, which would use a lot less water than watercolor. So if you're going to paint inside of a book, I, I usually recommend um, the acrylic if you're not... Um, if you're just beginning starting watercolor, it might be better to copy one of these pages first and then practice on the copied page so you can kind of learn to control that water um, level that you have on the page before you start doing it inside the book. And Joanna is really good about um, adding the key in the back of her books. And I use those keys for a test page a lot of times. And you can always test your watercolor uh, skills and water levels that you're, you're containing in your brushes um, on those back pages. And I'll show you guys that in just a minute. This is actually the first coloring book I ever got. Um, I just haven't done a review for it yet. I've been too excited for um, the other ones that I've gotten recently to do a review for this one. And uh, I finally got around to it. So here it is. So here's the key, and these are the ones that I use to practice um, mediums that I haven't used um, for a while or mediums I want to see what they're going to look like. Colored pencil, I usually don't test because I know it's going to work fine in the book. Some colored pencils will work better than others. However, I know for the most part they're going to they're gonna do just fine on the paper. So I don't usually test those. I will, however, test any paints that I'm planning on using or the aqua markers. Um, watercolor markers, anything like that that I don't know how it's going to take on the page or with the ink. And that is the end. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. Please don't forget to subscribe down below there. And uh, check out my other videos that I have online. I have a lot of coloring books on there that um, just are not mainstream coloring books. And I feel like that's a really good thing to do, um, just kind of get other artists out there and um, kind of show the world what other people have to offer um, besides the mainstream ones. Not that I'm saying that the mainstream ones, I, I love the mainstream ones, so don't get me wrong. Um, anyway, this was a coloring book review for Joanna Bashford's Secret Garden, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.